Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. So today I have for you a Master Monk deck. Uh, this card is really cool because it can attack twice uh, during the same battle phase. So I've, I've always been trying to, you know, make a deck around it. And um, we're using, you know, the, the usual Last Gamble OTK deck engine, which is, uh, you know, Storm and Wild Tornado. But I'm also trying out um, anti-magic arrows because if you don't draw into your storm and you can't get rid of the back row, then you know this card uh, can make it so that they can't activate spell or trap cards during this battle phase. So it works really good. I would run more, but the Arcana event has been horrible for me. Uh, this is the the I got this card from you know dueling him 15 times. And I've gotten one Dark Eradicator, and that's it. The rest have been, you know, Dark Magician, which is nice to have, but it's not, it's not anything new. So hopefully, I pick up more Eradicator so I can make a deck based around that. But anyway, um, so we're running three Master Monk. We're running three Monk Fighter because he's the card you need in order to special summon uh, Master Monk. And then we have, you know, our Dry Engine, which is going to be two Dekoichi and three Crystal Seer just so that we get the combo pieces that we need and we get cards in order to use last gamble um, because i am using that as the skill i also run two big bang shot because it's a it's a very cool card in this deck uh, you can use it aggressively which you know you're, you're gonna raise your monster attack or monks attack by 400 and you're gonna be able to pierce or you can use it to get rid of any problematic monsters uh, Pairing it with Storm, kind of like Wall Tornado, but uh, Big Bang Shot banish them, banishes them. So anyway, I'm I'm not gonna do any live duels with this deck. I only have replays for you guys, and and the reason why is because I'm actually on my lunch break. But I wanted to. I had these replays. I've been using this deck um, over the weekend. I was actually out of town, and that's why I haven't been uploading because I we just got back yesterday or last night. And I, I hadn't had time to record, I had to work this morning. So hopefully I can get back into a rhythm of, you know, uploading every other day or every day if I can. So so this, uh, you know, expect another deck tomorrow. I actually have one ready and I'm going to be doing live duels with that one. But anyway, here we're going up against the Dragon deck. He's playing very defensively, um, so I start attacking into his cars to see what, what I'm up against. He has Pump Princess, you know, so it's gonna start lowering my attack. He still doesn't have a, a dragon, so his monster can attack. I try to attack the face down, he activates uh, Majesty with Eyes of Blue. And then he uh, special summons the Blue Eyes with Soul Resurrection. However, I do have two Wall Tornadoes, so I use one to get rid of that uh, Blue Eyes. And here he's just letting me draw. I haven't used last gamble. So I decided to go a little bit aggressively, get rid of the pump princess and the dragon. However, he does have dragons or birth, which really really sucks because uh, I pretty much wasted my wild tornado, my, my storm, and he has a blue eyes. And um, then he flips over Kaiba Man, summons a second blue eyes and goes for a Mirage Dragon. Like, I, I thought I had lost the duel here, but you'll see how I actually get rid of this board. I, I thought it was pretty cool. And the deck get, the duel gets kind of intense, um, although I do have a slight misplay. But anyway, I go for last gamble because that, that's all I can do. And I roll a six, you know, super lucky, super clutch. And I do get a uh, Wild Tornado. I, you have to use the Big Bang Shot, as I was telling you, um, you know, for removal purposes. So I'm able to get rid of both of the blue eyes and I destroyed the uh, mountain. This lets me, you know, get, I, or I try to get over the the Mirage Dragon, but he had the Karibo. Um, however, I do have another set of, uh, you know, Master Monk in hand, so I'm able to use that. Activate Anti Magic Arrows, which is super clutch because that card is actually a mirror wall. And this is the misplay I was telling you about. I forget to attack twice. I had actually already won the game right there. But he, he didn't draw into anything. I'm down to my last card. Um, but he doesn't have a response, so I end up winning the game. I thought it was a pretty intense duel because, you know, it went 
it went down to the last card, but um, I did misplay by not attacking the second time. You, you kind of forget when you're attacking monsters. You know, I remember that I can attack twice, but for some reason, when I attacked them directly, I completely forgot. So anyway, the second replay going up against Mako, and you know you you're seeing a lot of Mako and. They just got another support card, which is a like an upgrade to the Sea Serpent that they use to destroy back row. Um, that card, actually. The, there's a there's a new card in the card trader that's a little bit of an upgrade. It is a four star, so they they can't just summon it with a uh, Hammer Shark, but it has 1800 with the uh, Umi. So anyway, um. I'm gonna get OTK if I don't start uh, being aggressively, so I have to go for the Storm Big Bang Shot combo. And then I summon my Master Monk to, you know, basically destroy his entire field. He goes uh, Super Rush Headlong, destroying my Master Monk, so I, um, I just have to hope that he doesn't draw another monster. Luckily enough, he doesn't, so I, I decide to go Last Gamble this turn. I draw a two, but I draw the, the two cards that I needed, being Wall Tornado and Monk Fighter. So I'm able to get rid of the back row, which was a Windstorm, and destroy the, the monster. And then I just attack directly uh, for a game. Um, I know I, I kind of named this deck, you know, an OTK deck, but sometimes your opponent ends up surviving just because uh, you can't do the 4,000 damage unless you have uh, you know an equip spell so a lot of the times I'll end up doing like 3800 and you know they're left with 200 most of the time I still win but I did lose uh, one game where they came back with 200 I was pretty salty at that one but anyway we're going up against my using balance um, this was kind of an interesting deck that uh, I hadn't seen before. You, oh, looks like my phone's gonna die. Sorry about that. So anyway, you know she's she's playing very defensively, so I decide to start attacking with Dekoichi, and he, she's uh, playing Red Eyes, but she has Magical Merchant, which kind of a nice tech. I haven't seen it used before, so I have to give the you know the person props for that. He goes cards of the Red Stone, dumps two um two Red Eyes zombies. And then goes for Gateway to Chaos to, to search a Black Luster Soldier. So a pretty pretty interesting deck. And as you can see, gets rid of my Dekoichi. And I have two Crystal Sears, but I don't want to flip them myself, otherwise I'm open to a lot of damage. Um, he, she goes for a Synthesis, summoning the BLS. And he's using the Maroon Dog, which is a or Mara, I don't know what his name is. But anyway, it's a it's a pretty nice deck. I, I actually liked it a lot when I was playing up against it. So I pick up my Monk Fighter. Um, I guess my, my thinking was to maybe just set it and you know play defensively. And then I pick up the Big Bang Shot here. However, I do have two Wall Tornadoes set, so I'm gonna be able to get rid of both the Black Luster Soldier and the um, Red Eye Zombie, so that that was pretty, you know, pretty clutch. That's why Wild Tornado is, you know, it's so important in this kind of deck. Um, I go for the Big Bang Shot on my Monk Fighter, piercing for 16, and he draws into, uh, you know, the Synthesis. So this is what I was talking about. She's left with 100 life points, and then she summons another uh, Black Luster Soldier. So. You know, I had already used two of my wall tornadoes, one of my big bang shots. I, luckily enough, um, you know, I get I get enough cards, I believe. Yeah, I get I get a, another storm, so I can get rid of that last BLS, and then I just attack with Dekoichi. But yeah, you know, had I not gotten lucky and you know drawn into that storm, I would have loss just because I didn't have enough damage to OTK them so that's that kind of sucks um but again the deck is very fun to play around with I was using it to try to get my 
100 wins for the you know for this ranking season just because I didn't uh, I didn't really try to try to get to legend or king of games or anything like that this season there was too much going on you know at work and the arcana event and stuff like that that I just didn't try hard enough so anyway here we're going up against Yugi he just summons a Neos uh, I wish I would have picked up the arrows, but I decided to play it safe and go for the monk. And then I'm just being aggressive here. I go for the big bang shot, get rid of the back row, get rid of the neos. And this is what I was talking about, you know. I, you know, he's gonna be left with 200 life points. That's the only, uh, the only little thing missing from this deck, you know, that extra 200 attack. But he, he didn't draw into anything, so he ended up just surrendering, so I still got the win. And then this is going to be our last replay. Um, if you like this deck, let me know down in the comments, and I might do a short session of live duels with it. I just, like I said, I, I knew I wasn't going to have enough time right now, and I didn't want to wait to upload this on you know until I got out of work, because I get out pretty late. And... I haven't uploaded in a really long time, so that's why I decided to make this. So we're going up against Pegasus, he's using Gear Freed, which is pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately he destroys my Crystal Seer, and I don't get to draw a card. And I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, um, in a bad spot, but I do draw into a Storm, so I'm able to clear his field and get rid of... Uh, what is the name? Gear Freed something? I don't know. The the beefed up Gear Freed. Uh, so I just set my Dekoichi. And then I have to go for Last Gamble right here. I roll a 6, which uh, you, you almost always win if you roll a 6. Or you know, if you roll like a 5. Uh, that's why Last Gamble is so good, but then there's times where you just roll that, that 2 or that 1 and it really sucks. Here I was kind of puzzled, I didn't understand why he didn't activate Grebo right away. Maybe he didn't know that Master Monk could attack twice. I actually get to go double Master Monk, which is just too much. Four attacks of 1900, and um, that wins me the game. So anyway, there's the deck. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this. I have uh, this deck right here, Z Warriors. That's going to be the deck that I'm going to be showing tomorrow or maybe uh, later on tonight when I get home from work. But here's the deck. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. And until next time.